Hi, so I wanted to um, record a video about how to manipulate text in Illustrator. Uh, that's a really awesome uh, tool to use whenever you're building logos, whenever you're making um, images for print, for Cricut, if you're making Cricut products. Um, this is a really cool to tool to use, and I think you'll use it a lot once you know how to do it. So, um, and this is what I'm talking about when I say manipulate text. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say hello. I'm going to blow it up and always when you're blowing something up hold down shift so it stays proportionate. If not, then it'll be crazy and we don't do that in the design world. So you hold down shift. That's a quick tool. Um, in Photoshop you don't have to hold down shift anymore in the new update. Uh, now it actually defaults to be proportionate and you have to hold shift to not so that's that was a pretty big update and for longtime designers it was like a whoo it was a big change so I'm gonna go pick a font here and let's say I'm gonna pick this font but I'm, I want to manipulate it now so um, what I'm going to do let's see what kind of effect do I want I want this to be a two-tone font. So I want like the top to be a color and then the bottom to be a color. So I'm going to type, create outlines, and make sure you have it selected. I always, before you do this, I would like copy it and move it off to the side, which I did that by holding down option and dragging. That copies it and moves it. Because once you create something and like convert it to outlines, you're not going to be able to edit it anymore. So... Let's select that. We're going to create outlines. Oops, sorry. I clicked the wrong thing. Doop. There it is. So I'm going to um, copy this and then cop paste in place. So Command C is copy. And I'm on Mac. Um, Command C is copy. Command F is paste in place. So I'm going to make this one. Let's go to a color here. I'm going to make this one pink. I'm going to select that bottom one. I'm going to make that one blue because those are my two favorite colors. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my pen tool out. I'm just going to make a really rough wave here. Do, do, do. So I made my shape. This is what I want to cut out of the other shape. So I'm going to use my Pathfinder tool. And you can go, I already have my Pathfinder tool out, but you can go to Window and then Pathfinder. I use this every design. It never fails. I use my Pathfinder tool. So I want to cut this wave shape out of my pink. Hello. I might even bring it down a little bit. So I'm going to select both of them. I selected the top, which means I want to cut this out of this. So I'm going to, and I'm going to come over here to this one here, which is the minus front, minus front. So what's in front right now? The wave minus that from the design. Sometimes it does this here. This what just happened. Um, and sometimes you have to find a workaround. Hold on. Let's see if I unite it and then do it. What does it do? It still does that. Sometimes it does that. Um, so what I did is I'm going to just copy. I'm going to copy both of these. So I am going to make sure that these are aligned right. So I'm going to ungroup that blue one. I'm going to select both. I'm going to go up here to my align, my alignment. And if you can't see that up there, just make sure you have alignment on. And I'm going to align those. And I'm even going to bottom align them just so they're evenly lining up. Do, 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 do. I mean, you can always do, I'll show you an effect you can do. Sometimes you run into a design on accident, which there's no shame in that. You can always bring those 
So it does that. I mean, that doesn't, that's, that's just an effect you can do, um, which is really cool. All right, let's say, so we have that. I would even say, watch, watch this. I'm going to, I copied it so I, I don't lose it. I'm going to go back real quick and see if I can get my swoosh back. See my swoosh? All right, so watch. I wanted to go, again, my brain works really fast sometimes, so hopefully we keep it up here. So I have, I pasted it, I copied it, remember, so I didn't lose it. I am going to do something with this swoosh. I've actually created a design like this before. So I, okay, gosh, I'm going too fast. So with this shape, with the, with the white arrow, you can delete points. Whereas the black arrow, you don't get points. You're just moving it. The white arrow allows you to grab points. So I grabbed one, deleted it, grabbed one, deleted it. So you see how it's making it look like a shape? It's because you need to switch the colors so it's an outline. So I'm just going to switch it, bring up my stroke here. I'm going to change my stroke, uniform of the stroke. Bring it up a little bit more. You can add, so you can change. Oops. No, I don't need to. I'm going to go up, let's just change that to a color here, and bring that up here. I mean, you know, you can do stuff. You can bring these two up, so I'm going to just select both of those, arrange, bring to front. I mean, once you get going, you just start doing all these things. Now, with outlines, I'm just going to delete this so we can talk about you can, it's now not a font anymore, it's a shape. So what I can do is, let's say I want my H and my E to line up. So I'm going to create this guide. You see how I created the guide? I just got my pen tool and created a guide. And then I'm going to bring that over. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, because this is a shape, I'm going to grab my white tool, because remember that can grab the points. I'm going to select all these points here. Make sure I grab these. I'm holding down shift. And I need to bring these down. Okay. So then See, so I'm just showing you how you can manipulate the font now because you it's no longer a font. Um, what else can I show you here? You can always group stuff. So if you need it to be grouped for, let's say, a Cricut, you can always bring stuff together. And this isn't going to look good. I'm not trying to make something pretty, but I'm just trying to show you. You bring them all together because, let's say, Cricut wants it to be all one piece. And you get back your Pathfinder, and it's that first one there, Unite. So now this is all one image. You can select it. It's all one image now. But yeah, so that's how you manipulate text um, and uh, mess around with the Pathfinder, which I can make so many videos on Pathfinder. I love the Pathfinder. Um, but that's how you work with manipulating text.